These are the real life tragedies of a broken system. And I don't think I can bear to hear the minister get up and say yet again that we should come to them with our individual problems with the system as his predecessor did, because they are not individual problems. They are systemic failings and a consequence of privatising social security alongside 37 billion worth of welfare cuts. Because let's be honest, this is institutionalised bullying and harassment of sick and disabled people. I have no doubt that administrative ineptitude is part of it, but on this scale, there can be no other conclusion. Deliberately stripping people of their rights to disrupt the welfare state and the very concept of legal entitlement. The government has trodden all over the expectations of citizens that they will be looked after in their hour of need. And for what? To replace the state with private and family provision, to boost the coffers of private insurers and replace legal rights with charity subject to moral judgments of deservedness.